Hey guys, Pete Large Cop Restrictors. I hope everybody had an amazing uh, holiday and had cookout and did some fun stuff over that over the Labor Day weekend. Um, I was at work, so I was off for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, but I had to work on them yesterday. So I uh, am not complaining because it was double time. Um, if we're scheduled to work on our um, holidays, we get paid double time. We get paid straight time for our day of work, and then we get paid for the holiday. So, eight hours on the holiday. So, yeah, that, that helps out. I am not complaining about that at all. So, as a thought. It's 55% up here today. We had a couple of hot days over the weekend, so... Making sure the AC is working real well and keeping the room not overly hot. So, and when I say hot days, they were 80, I think yesterday was 85. I think I saw it hit 86 maybe for a little bit. Um, but up here in the snake room, it would have been like 90 something. It gets warm up here. You know, the really, really hot days, it can, it can top out pretty warm up here. So I had the air conditioner set up. Uh, it's, the air conditioner temp is set at 77, which keeps the room here. Right now it's 81 degrees. So it, have, it splits itself. Uh, there's sometimes I'll come in the room and it will be 77 in here. It's usually in the evening time, um, like on the weekends when I'm home, because I work evenings during the week. But um, that's that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Uh, like today, it'll probably it may even hit 82, 83 on the thermostat that I have over there. The thermostat is actually behind you on the wall, I'm just chilling. And I have the air conditioner up in the window, so yeah. I may actually move that thermostat over here behind me on the wall there, but uh, we'll see what happens. So it is what it is. But yeah, uh, it's important that I have the air conditioner up here. My first summer, I had the snakes up here. Didn't have as many, but I did have the snakes up here. It was kind of a uh, hot box up here. It got pretty warm. Uh, I came up here one day, it was like 98 in the room. I was like, Jesus. So I got a fan and I put it in the door and I had the fan blowing the air out of the room. Um, there's no central air in this in our home because it's uh, over 100 years old. So 110 years old. I think we're pushing like 100 and 115 now. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. 115 years old. So there's no central air in the house. We just we use uh, window air conditioners. Have a window air conditioner in here now, so we can regulate the temperature a little bit better. Um, so, but that's that's just the snake room. So, um, put as a thought up. Uh, talk about my guy here. This little man here, he uh, killed the mouse on feed day, didn't eat it. He had a rat in with him for two days, well, a day, uh, 24 hours. I left it in there. He didn't touch it. Um, put a live mouse in there. He killed it, didn't eat it. Uh, put a, gave him a frozen thawed mouse, uh, put it in, a, assisted him, put it in his mouth. He didn't eat that, did it again, and he didn't eat it again. So. For whatever reason, he will not eat consistently at all. On his own, even. He hasn't eaten on his own, ever. So, I'm still trying. I'm not going to give up on him. So, this is our little Omega symbol there. See it? He does have the spider wobble. But he's not a spider. At least he's not a spider pattern. Call him Grumpy Pants because when he was little, well, he's still little. When he was younger, he used to try and nip my hand every time I try and pull him out. Obviously, he's gotten a lot better than that since then. But um, is he in distress? No, he is skinny, not to the point to where I can see any bones or feel, you know, I'm overly worried. But um, I'm going to end up getting him a medium mouse this time because it was a large mouse the last time. And he wouldn't eat it. Um, 
The mouse I had put in there, the live mouse, was a small, medium mouse, and he killed it, didn't eat it. So, he just has not figured that out yet. But we're going to go ahead and keep on working with him and make sure he's good to go. Alright, buddy. Not going to give up on him. Show you one more. It'll be this one here. Come here, sweetheart. This here is the edgy spider. 100% that clown. Um, yellow belly or spectrum? Kind of thinking yellow belly. Maybe. Ugh. So yeah, this little girl here. Well, she's getting big. She's doing real well. She eats all the time. Um, Doing amazing. So yeah, she's getting big, nice and thick. This is what that little one should look like. <laughs> um, not from the same clutch, I don't think. Clutch before this one. So he actually should be bigger than her. So he's not even close. Just wanted to do a quick little size comparison on that for him. So, yeah. All right, guys, um, Bjorn is still knocking over his water dish. I said in the last video I think he was done. No, he's not done yet. So he will be done, though, here um, today or tomorrow. Maybe today I may run by the pet store today. If I don't make it by the pet store before I go to work today and pick up a heavy ceramic bowl, I am actually going to order one off of Amazon. It should be here tomorrow. Should be. Amazon here with the one day shipping is a little lax as, as of late. They, uh, one day shipping, I had something ordered and I didn't get it for a week. So, but I will order him a new, new heavier ceramic bowl and hopefully it will cure his problem. I think the bowl weighs four and a half pounds or three and a half pounds, something like that. So hopefully that does the trick. Um, but other than that guys, He's perfectly fine. Alright. My hands washed off here. We're going to get him out real quick. He did not eat this week. Um, it was his week off. Freya and him are on a every other week's schedule. <coughs> Move some stuff around here. <clears throat> right. Try and angle you guys to where you can actually see what's going on, kind of. Because if I move you anymore, that you're gonna get blotted out from the sun. He's actually got some poop in his cage that I need to clean out real quick. Set this here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, tool, this is a garden rake, this is a small one, to where I can reach all the, I can reach the entire enclosure with this rake. I'm going to hook that and pull it this way. Hook that, pull it this way. There. Alright, now I can actually reach it. This way. All right. I know you guys couldn't see what I was doing. Because if you know, if you see, if I turn you guys, it's gonna blot out the camera. Too much sun there, and you guys won't be able to really see much. Eh, maybe you will. So I had gotten all this poop into this area right here. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see that okay. Before I can actually grab it, pull it out of this cage. So there, there. Grab all that. Out of there. There. All right. All right. So I'm gonna take my rake again. This right here. Do this with his 
Kochen. All right, that breaks it up pretty, pretty good actually. Now I'm able to just hide back in here with this hot spot. Check that, and then get him up out of here for a minute. Come on! Oh, come on, stinker! Oh, you're getting heavy, dude. You're gonna get absolutely heavy. Okay. Oh, got him. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys back over here now. Uh, there. So I got him out now. So he's doing okay that in that aspect of things. Like I said though, he's gonna be getting a heavier bowl. This is just too much. See, he'll probably knock that over too at some point, but here he is. You know he's not choking me out at all. <coughs> he is wanting to go explore everything though. Every time I bring him out, he tries to go check things out. If he was choking me out, I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys right now. So anybody that thinks I'm in trouble is crazy. Um, yeah, he's very sweet, very sweet boy. He comes out all the time. I hold him all the time so that he is used to being handled. Don't knock my glasses off, please. Thank you. <laughs> he does knock my glasses off a lot, though. He'll come back around and bam, glasses are on the floor. So I'm surprised he hasn't broken them yet. Don't, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> all right, buddy. What are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? You can go check out the camera. But that's all I got, guys. I just want to show off my problem, kids. He's not a problem child. Well, yeah, I guess he is kind of. So he fits into that, that um, this kind of um, stereotype. I don't know if that's really a stereotype, but he's a problem child because he keeps knocking his water dish over. The last girl I had just showed you, the entry spider, she was born with a small eye. Um, doesn't slow her down. As a thought, of course, is staying here with us. She's our baby. She is our. Ambassador saying hi. What are you doing? He he knocks his water bowl over. I think I said that already. And our little grumpy pants boy, who's not grumpy pants anymore. He uh doesn't eat. <laughs> doesn't. He hasn't figured it out yet. So that's our problem, kids, for today. That's what this video is going to be named. I think and you'll know that by the time you see the video when it gets posted. So I'm going to try and get him back in his in his cage now. I got fresh water in there and. He's all ready to go. Uh, till next time, guys. I hope everybody stays safe. Um, has a good week. Uh, come on, I'm coming up on a four-day weekend. But then, then I have to work ten days straight, which I'm trying to get some PTO time to get to break that up a little bit. So either way, it's going to be a pain in the ass. But it is what it is. Oops, I told them I would do it. So you want to get the yeah. He's not going to. I might have to let him crawl in his cage. Because he's holding on here. And yeah. Till next time, guys. Uh, hopefully, I won't still have him around my neck. Yeah, I won't. I wish I could take him to work with me because then everybody at work would leave me alone. That would be fun. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, as always, like, share, subscribe. The more you guys share the video, um, you guys uh, will help out getting the videos out there for the algorithm for YouTube. Um, like the video, hit that like button like crazy. Um, set the little bell on the notifications to all so you know when these videos get posted. What are you doing? You are weird. But you're gonna go after the microphone, aren't you? You're not gonna bite it, but. Anyway, uh, check us out on TikTok, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. Go check out our Morph Market page.
Uh, also, uh, if you want to help support the channel, go check out Patreon. Thanks, guys. I, that's my plug. I'm done. I'll see all you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Dude, you're weird.